my family's hunchback bastard. <laughs> Is the is the not to get down? I totally missed that message. <clears throat> My name is Astro. I'm Luke Fisher's brother. Aye. He is the Astro Sia. Indeed. And also I got 20 prisoners for my siege of Vanna. Which is an insane amount for one siege. Seriously dude, you can't rock that moustache. Okay. What to do with you? <coughs> Order to take vows. Yeah, go go to <laughs> the Notre Dame. <laughs> that is so harsh. I'm just I'm just doing what Disney is doing, right? Can you execute your children? I'm sure you can. No, you can't. No. Nope. They patch that out. Oh. <laughs> your direct children. You can murder your children's children, but your direct children cannot be murdered by it. They're not murdered, execute. You know when they are captured after a plot and put that? in prison? I don't know. Get other unlad to take the vows. I think you can, them. can you even imprison them? You sir need to take the vows because you're Father was a prince bishop who had an affair with a married woman that's my niece. Like, seriously? You gotta suffer for your father's sins. Take the vows. Um, possibly. Hey, Kemkar, morning. It's evening here, but welcome, sir. Welcome. How are you doing? Good morning to you. Oh. Hey, Kemkar! Draquitus! Draquitus! Awesome Draki! Draki! How you doing? All the cool emotes. Uh, all the cool people showing up. <laughs> Indeed. For our uh, uh, CK2 evening. Draquitus is a awesome streamer. His streams are so amusing. So, oh yeah, very. So I, I, I'm normally not a fan of streamers not using a cam, but... Uh, Draquidus, man, he pulls it up. Draquidus makes up for that with his wit and his sharp humor, and <laughs> he's just a nice guy. Yes. I hear an astral that is indeed true, Draquidus. Doing well, man, it's afternoon. Nice. Good to see you. Ah, thank you. Good to see you too, Kemkar. Good to see you too. Absolutely. Welcome to our Dynasty Challenge. I know you joined during the Bama Saga, but welcome to our Dynasty Challenge. Oh, sorry, I still got the game post. My bad. Just no worries, by I chat. have to sort out 20 prisoners. But 20? From one siege. <laughs> You've been busy. Venice has a lot of people in their cities. Oh, that's all I'm saying. Oh, Drucky. Thought you would check this out for a bit. It's it's cool. It, it's not for everyone, uh, especially for those uh, of a visual mind, because this is all you'll ever see. But um, it is a cool game if you allow it to. Uh, if you allow if you allow it to conquer your heart. <laughs> Definitely right. a great game. It's a game about politics. You're basically a, a dynasty, a family. Um, in the medieval era and whatever you do with your family is all up to you it's a sandbox um, warfare is sort of at the center but um, it's not the only thing you can do I am currently in a war so there's that but yeah it's not the only thing huh, all these prisoners sell for 10 gold and it's definitely not about getting the most uh, land possible, because that will drive you mad! Yeah, it's, it's actually pretty difficult to uh, control a big empire. Um... Um... Yeah, it's, um... it's all about ruling a nation, not, not necessarily the... Uh... The size of the nation. Oh my. 
<laughs> you will just was... forget about the fact that there's a lady in the house. <laughs> if you like, um, if you like playing characters, I think this is one of the better, um, one of the better, if not the best, role-playing game you can play. Yeah, that you play a strategy game and at the same time you roleplay an entire dynasty of people. Yeah, and there are more options for char both character customization and character control than most uh, RPGs out there. Well, is, uh... Hearts of Iron is from the same game developers, I think. Uh, yes, Hearts of Iron. I'm not sure about Darkest Hour, but Hearts of Iron is... <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know what Darkest Hour is. Uh, Darkest Hour was the fan-made... Uh, tribute to Hearts of Iron, but um, uh, Hearts of Iron is from the same developer. Yes, it's also a paradox, a grand strategy game, just like this one. Hey, Zero, and Dispensable, and Wolf. What up? Whoa, the many viewers. How are you all doing? What up, guys? <laughs> what Zero, and, and Dispensable, and Wolf going okay-ish. Nothing much happening on my screen. You may want to watch the multi-twitch here because nothing much is gonna happen on my screen for a long time. I kind of put got myself in a pickle, if that's the right expression. And I am in a war with Venice. I'm going to attack these guys once these guys stop attacking me. Uh, no, not these guys. It's the king. These guys. <laughs> my king is trying to save my butt. But I'm not really sure if he's uh, doing such a good job with it. I'm growing fat on the riches of Venice because I got 20 prisoners in one siege. And it's Venice. They've got gold. So <laughs> I'm, got I'm gold? growing rich on the spoils of war. Quite literally. Let me, let me put up the link once more. There you go. 20 freaking prisoners. I, I actually think I messed up that link. Is it .tv or .com? <laughs> .tv. Today, my nephew Eustace asked me for a fief of his own to govern. Are you mad? I don't have anything. I don't want to men mention a church career to the guy. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Okay. Uh, phew, a daughter. Do you really want to call it Blado Vildis? What kind of name is that? Uh, let's call it... Blado Vildis. Let's call her Anouk. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Oh, uh, they drove up the uh, the sultanate there. Let's see, this guy will be angry with me. Where are you? You are at court in Pantievre. That's where I am. Um, I can't arrange it. Why don't you just be angry with me? What do I do? Hey, Shallow Heart, what up? Uh, you can hear and see her. Because we've got a multi-twitch. Well, you can't, still can't see me when you're going there, but... <laughs> oh, right, yeah, of course. <laughs> but you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, Shallow Heart. <laughs> Zero, I am doing great. I actually had a had quite an awesome day today for uh, work purposes. So I am doing absolutely great. Um, and, uh, yeah. I'm uh, working and streaming and doing all the things. She is playing the same thing, Kamkar. I'll show you because you are on my stream. I am over here, uh, ruling over a fractured, somewhat fractured kingdom of Benevento. A, uh, <clears throat> a self-created kingdom uh, within Italy. And Book's realm is all these blue dots over here. Um, <laughs> yes, I am not a slightly fractured. I'm a very fractured. There you go. Dutchy. If you, if you want to know, this game is actually really impressive multiplayer-wise, aside from the occasional hiccup. It is a 32-player max multiplayer. So you can have 32 human rulers in the same world at the same time. Uh, the disconnection issues will probably arise rather quickly, but... I think that's a very good to do when you all have your, your PC in the same location. Indeed. Like a LAN party. CK2 LAN party would be a dream. That, that would be amazing. 
Having spent countless of hours swinging your sword is clear that you have your technique is getting better. You know the essence of every possible strike. Cool. I may need it because I just pissed off my nephew. <laughs> Book will be long dead before 32 people join in. <laughs> <coughs> I'm not on the warpath, Kamkar. The uh, dynasty challenge is uh, both Book and me surviving through this game. And uh, the next game after that. Because you can transfer your saves in between uh, Paradox games. But whether we'll make that or not, that remains to be seen. <laughs> <coughs> I'm not having the best game in my life. <laughs> no. <laughs> because there is this thing in this in this time zone that there is this guy called Charlemagne, um, which is you know in the history Charlemagne became the emperor of Francia and united Europe against the infidels. He died before it happened in this instance so the infidels are rampaging through europe like yeah like i'm showing the de jure empires right now uh this would should all have been blue and what it looks like is this see yeah, the difference this, this francia plus germania is normally what charlemagne controls which is enough to to keep the uh, infidels of the christians back but uh, as you can see it's a mess <laughs> Good luck, have fun, <coughs> silent. Right well and right swift. <laughs> nah, just okay. kidding. Just enjoy, enjoy the rights. In the meantime, I think you over two hundred gold from all these prisoners, just selling them off. <laughs> all the gold, the gold. My income is actually pretty impressive. But this war of my emperor is going to drag on for ages. And my emperor, my king. My Nubish king. I have some gold for mercenaries. Share in my wealth. Peace be with you. Thank you, sir. I don't need it yet, though. No, I know, but I'm getting tons of gold for the uh, for the prisoners, so why not, right? <laughs> I guess. Why not share whilst we're in the uh, wealthy state of things? Yeah, you may have a point. I don't trust RNG. <coughs> Sell them to Book so she can practice murder. No oh, god. <laughs> oh god. I don't know if you can sell prisoners to someone. Yeah, you can sell them to the ruler they belong to, but not to someone else, I think. Nah, I don't think that's an option either. Throw in oubliette as an option. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, all these factions rising up. This emperor is in trouble. Lower crown authority is 75% of the legis men. 75%. Jeez. I can actually disband these boats. I don't need them anymore. This banners will soon be mine. Although soon, there it's a maxed maxed out holding uh, thing. It might take a while sieging all these holdings. I hope my uh, vassals... Ooh! My vassals suddenly like me. Sort of. Sort of. I don't know how that happened. Here, share in the wealth. Get some wealth. Like me. Uh-oh. Something happened. Refuse the my the revocation of his vice royalty. There is revolt within the realm. Hey boy, let's check it out, shall we? And I will decline joining your revolt, sir. You can go revolt all you want, but that means the faction with the uh, more percentage of troops of the leech becomes even more dangerous because now he needs to, to sacrifice troops to. Uh, or uh, send troops to the revolt whilst oh, the faction is so strong. <coughs> this here, this, this here, used to be the land, the land of Duke Werewolf, who is one of my most memorable <laughs> characters in this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if you're a writer, I know some writers are in, uh, are in Bookstream, but if you're a writer, this game is perfect. Um... I mean, 
talking of stories, you know. Yeah, I think all the writers that were in my chat left though. Um. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah, my, my Duke lost his mind, thought he was a werewolf and went around killing people in livestock. I actually renamed this county Ly Ly Lycan instead of Lycia in honor of Duke Werewolf when he passed away. <coughs> Are you a writer to wolf? That's awesome though. Oh my gosh. No, go away you. Go away. Shoo! Go away, Shoo! You and your armies of infidels, go away! Leave me alone! Leave my vessel alone! Why you do this? Our holding in Rosello! Oh gosh, I even have land over- I didn't know I had land over there! <laughs> <laughs> Lands everywhere, basically. <laughs> Too scattered! <laughs> I have a tiny bit of land smack in the middle of the Umiyat land. Well, not in the middle, but just, you know, just smack in the middle. away from all Christianity. Poor people! You can write when the need calls for it? Yes. That is true. Alright, shoo, faction. I don't need your faction. He just chased my... Um, my king out. Oh man, we don't have all day. Get it over with. We don't have all day. I have plenty of money to, to battle Karenev now. But I don't want to have my troops run around there with the infidels there. Because then they don't even reach their destination. So they need to end the war. Can you even declare war to Karenev? I have no idea. I'm not going to try. I'm going to put, wait till their war is over. And another holding siege. And you know what? Of course, Wolf. Of course. There's five more to go. Everyone who writes is a writer. <coughs> Indeed. You guys should give a curse. My daughter. Maybe you can get me an alliance, daughter. The alliance that's close by and has enough troops to uh, give you Brittany. Indeed. I think you can do it with the uh, with the territories, right? You can create the duchy, right? Six. Four out of six. Yeah. If you have four of those territories that are still independent, you can create. You can become the Duke of Brittany. You have Ultimo Gadger, so that's that's good. You can keep both titles. Oh man, my Emperor is for almost 400 gold in debt. Jesus, so it sounds like it's the Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Theo de Linda de la Dovre. Of legal age. Ah. Theo de Linda. Great time together. Awesome. I think I'm doing okay on my vessels now. Yeah, just that still that one guy who is minus 100 who's like, I hate you. <coughs> oh, great, the Duke of Tuscany is gonna inherit the Duke. Oh. Great. I'm getting double Dukes. Ugh. Ugh. There's something I hate as a king, it's double dukes. And we're sieging another city. My army's just standing there and Van is going. Oh no! I just became infirm. Oh no. 
trying to die. <laughs> trying to marry my daughter to the king, uh, the prince of Italy. Well, your dude is 26 and they've got an heir. Oh wait, no, it's Ulti. Yeah, but it's the only What year, year do you have to get before you switch to Europe by Universalis? I have no idea. A lot, a lot. Very far. <laughs> Ended inconclusively, and now everyone is leaving. So at least married my daughter oh, to the still part of the empire. Oh, oh, oh! We're we're, we're coming in. We're coming in. <coughs> oh, thanks, Shello. Oh wait, hold hold on. Shello is sending a message. I need to read this. Astral, how have you been? Um, I have been great. Um, work has been uh, uh, rising up lately, which is good, because I really love my job. Um, especially today, it was amazing, um, with possible assignment for my company, uh, Camerata. But uh, yeah, I've been working, I've been streaming, I've been recovering from my, uh, from my cold. Which you might still hear a bit, and I'm, I cough from time to time, but there's that. Mm. But um, yeah, I've been working, I've been streaming, doing my thing, you know. Nothing too fancy. Really looking forward to uh, how this year pans out, though, because I've got a lot of stuff uh, in the pot, so to say. So to say, I don't know what the English expression is. A lot of stuff, you know, boiling waiting for the right time to fire everything is in order uh, game patient please yes my son gained the patient train patient train is one of the best alongside diligent oh my god Plus yeah one. i do love patience <clears throat> but where am i yeah. who are these people who oh, pretty colors so tired. Your king is so, so infirm awesome. and incapable. Wait, wait until he turns uh, fifty, Camcar. Then he then he gets the old man uh, portrait. So, uh, oh, oh no! What what's happening? I have a regent because my dude is incapable but not dead. So my nephew is my regent. Until I wither away and die. So, um, just a heads up. Your old countries are going to be Byzantine. Just saying. What? <coughs> oh, yes, friendship. Your, your old Toulouse duchy? You know, the, the duchy that you uh, still only have by title? Is going to be Byzantine. Great. <laughs> Just saying. Except for that little part that the infidels are going for now. Well, actually, that's not part of Toulouse. So, yeah. no. My emperor has declared the holy war for Toulouse and he's got the... Uh, Everyone wants my land and I'm the one holding the title. <laughs> he's got like 19k against 6k of the sultan. So the sultan will be out for a while. How is this even possible? How are they going to take that title away from me? Uh, possibly. No, I mean how? What do you mean? Because the, the, the Umayyad took my entire duchy and I still have the title. Yeah, so they will take over the lands and then once they have the lands they will probably click the usurp button and you will lose your title. Oh, that's just great. And then you will be a single count in Pentievre. <laughs> I better start getting the claim on KNF. That's that's going to be a thing. Okay, let's put the Chancellor there. Oh man, this war is taking ages with all that sieging going on. It's now or never. Sink or swim, do or die. 
can't get all my armies though because the freaking infidels are on my land. Yeah, but the Byzantines are coming in to crush them. That's the uh, advantage of this. Uh... I am in such a strange situation. It's <laughs> And all because Charlemagne did it tonight. <laughs> you had one job, you French idiot. You had one. No offense job. to the French. You just happened to be French. You had one freaking job. And all the while, while this emperor is uh, fighting the infidels, a lower crown authority faction with 135 percent of the Byzantine Empire's forces is forming. Which means the moment he like fights the infidels and loses some troops that crown authority faction will fire and then it will lose more troops and then independence will fire everywhere and the byzantine empire will crumble and my uh my duchy too <laughs> yes <laughs> it's not even my war people leave me out of it <laughs> what the hell is going on See? The, uh, the infidels are being mopped up by the French. Look at that. Oh wait. No, the French are losing. Never mind. <laughs> For now, the Byzantines are marching onwards, but as a good AI, he's marching them in piecemeal and not, <laughs> not meeting them up first. You know, as a good Crusader King's AI should. <clears throat> <laughs> I've yelled at the AI quite a lot in this playthrough. Oh, a stack of 8k troops is coming on in, in two stacks of 4k, so the infidels should be gone soon. Which Man, kingdom is ruled by someone who looks like an egg? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. My region does look like an egg. I He's such an egghead. Goodness. I don't even know. You know what happens when I get Venice? I get so freaking rich. Unbelievable. Riches will be yours. Yeah, because, you know, merchant republics. <coughs> Merchant Republics. At least you can support me through my upcoming war. <laughs> that, that's the only thing that I find, well, one of the things actually, that I find really ridiculous in this game is a Merchant Republic generates three times the income of an entire kingdom. Which is insane. And if they're prospering like five times or something. The amount of income from a kingdom, which is even more insane. Byzantine army incoming! Yup. Man, they start fighting, they start losing troops, that faction is gonna fire. Alright, one more siege. And then we have Venice. Venice will be ours. And Venezia. And the money will be ours. Mostly the money. Ooh, the infidels are retreating. Now would be a good time to summon your troops, unless you don't have the uh, thing yet. I don't have the thing yet. Oh. Now France is moving as well. Then why are they moving? You live in you you surrender under these terms. He's being raided. I accept. Oh, defending against the holy war for Bourbon, he's fighting with my king. I think Luke. the Umayyad have now met a point where they have a little bit of bad luck. Look at that. I have uh you get the Duchy of Venezia, sir. I have a new merchant republic under my control, ladies and gentlemen. Just make sure he keeps liking you. <laughs> what? Just make sure he keeps liking you. Well, the first one likes me by eight, which is fine. Um, 
Now, what do you generate for me? So here you can see the ridiculousness of the uh, Merchant Republic. So Merchant Republics need some...